I am Anil Kumar and now let us explore quadrilaterals and this time we will do properties of rhombus. Here is one drawn for you, right? You may draw it like this or you may draw it like this. Kind of a diamond, okay? Either way, it is a rhombus. Now the important thing here is that in a rhombus, all four sides are equal, right? So all four sides like a square, they are equal. But how is it different from square? These angles, opposite angles are not 90 degrees. These are not right, but they are equal. Opposite angles are equal, but it has a pair of acute angles and a pair of obtuse angles. So that is how it is. So the angles are not 90 degrees and that makes it different from that of square. But the sides are equal. Correct. Now with this, let us list the properties of rhombus. So what we notice here is that it has all four equal sides. Right? And opposite sides are parallel, right? How about angles? Well, since it is a quadrilateral, four-sided figure, sum of angles is 360 degrees, right? So sum of four angles is 360 degrees. But the opposite pairs are equal, right? So it has equal pair of acute angle. and equal pair of obtuse angle, right? So, so these are the characteristics about angles and sides. How about the lines of symmetry? How many lines of symmetry does it have? It has two lines of symmetry. How about rotational symmetry? Rotational symmetry is also two. Right? Now, what else can you say about a rhombus? Well, as an exercise, what you should list is how is rhombus compare rhombus with square and write down similarities and differences between the two. You can also compare rhombus with parallelogram and write down their similarities and differences. Now one thing, is rhombus a parallelogram? Yes it is since the opposite sides are parallel, right? So, rhombus is a parallelogram, but every parallelogram will not be a rhombus. That is kind of important to understand. Just as square is a rectangle, but every rectangle will not be a square. I hope that helps you to understand a lot about rhombus. Thank you.